G'day guys, welcome to Sumo's Projects and welcome to my Christmas shop update. Um, the year's gone very quick, hasn't it? Uh, I started back in February um, and up to now 500 subscribers, um, having that giveaway today. So I, I wish everyone who, who uh, went into that or just left a comment, wish you the best of luck and uh, hopefully I can send you something your way. Yeah, as I said, it's um, already the end of the year and um, well, lots of that, lots of things have happened this year, and that's sensational because an active sort of year uh, is uh, a fruitful year, let's say. And um, as I've mentioned, it's been such a sensational ride, um, and it'll continue next year. So, just want to skim over a few of the things I'm working on at the moment. So, I've got a few projects in the, on the go, and we'll also look at some uh, makers who I've been viewing. Uh, recently and also for a while uh, who sort of resonate with me and the sort of things I enjoy watching on YouTube and um, yeah and let's just go over a few other little things all right let's go so uh, a few projects that I'm uh, going to be working on in the future um, I'm very happy my partner's uh, showing a little bit of interest in wanting to do a, a couple of projects to make as gifts for people throughout the year and um, that's fantastic so I'll show her some of the you know just basic uses of uh, machines and that uh, one of the projects she had come up with was um, just this is just a bit of yellow box um, out of a, a log so we can see um, it's quite quite dense wood a bit heavy good firewood but better to make stuff out of uh, also got some pallet wood here which is quite clean, uh, nail free and we're sort of working on about that width for a project and we just want to do a little thing like incorporate some uh, rock art, so some rocks or some pebbles that have been painted, uh, they're going to be sort of put on here and a few other little trinkety things and um, that's a good little project so that's coming up next year as well. Uh, so looking ahead to 2018 in the shop, um, things I, I plan to do, I just keep doing gradual shop upgrades. Um, Minosaur. Now this Minosaur is a ripper. Uh, I bought this last, uh, this year actually. Um, and it's on a stand. So the only little downfall I, I could say with something like this is just the uh, extension of a fence and also some uh, stops that can be uh, made up. So, and so you sort of you have a distance where you can use stops, the stops that are given with it, and then you're sort of limited to putting up some sort of temporary type of device. So I want to make this better. Uh, I'm going to add a box at the back for dust extraction, and hopefully um, that'll give me the ultimate sort of uh, reward for using a miter saw. Um, having it dust free is the best, best way to uh, operate a machine like this. So. The heart of uh, most uh, workshops, wood shops, is uh, the table saw. So I've got some plans to do uh, a few things around my table saw. I don't have a cross cut sled, so I might build one of those. I never really needed one, but I do see there's a use for those, and um, that's just one of those things. You know, it's sort of a it's a natural natural progression to make yourself a table saw sled, and um, it sort of has to fit into the realms of you know, what I can't do on the miter saw, then I can take it to the next stage and put it on the table saw. So that's all good. And uh, I'll be working along those lines. All right, so let's go and take a look at uh, some of the other projects I've been working on, still working on, always working on. Oh, I do happen to know in the Northern Hemisphere of the world, people are suffering with a little bit of cold weather at the moment. And it's quite the opposite in Australia. So. Now it's the time of the year where we uh, get out and have barbecues and just enjoy the uh, summer weather for what it is. So as an added place for a bit of storage, I built this barbecue cart. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description below. It's just an accessory to help, uh, you know, put a few things out like your meat trays and utensils, as you can see here. And um, it's just, it doesn't take up too much space, so it's quite handy.
Another project I took on not so long ago was this uh, prototype track saw uh, build. Um, this was a, something I wanted to do. I probably didn't justify spending a fortune on uh, one of the you know expensive track saws. This is just a bit of a setup. I thought I could uh, utilise a straight edge and uh, build up on that. And um, all things considered, it really came out really well. So I was happy to do this project. Aussie 4x2 challenge, uh, great little thing happening here and it's still open to everyone to have a go so looking forward to people if they want to make a video on how they can uh, make something out of a 4x2. So now to take a look at uh, some of the makers of interest uh, to me. Um, the first one is uh, Don and Caroline, uh, they, they run the Homestead Handyman um, channel on YouTube. It's absolutely brilliant. It's such an eclectic uh, taste of what people who have a homestead and what they endure to make that homestead work. Um, Don Don's a, a very cluey guy. He has some riveting projects and, and his lovely wife is a fantastic cook from some of the photos he's posted on Instagram and that. So let's take a look at some of their work. Don and Caroline's channel, the Homestead Handyman, is a fantastic, eclectic channel. Uh, so many different things happening on this channel. Uh, as you can see here, they've they built a greenhouse uh, from scratch using hardy outdoor materials. Um, then they've gone ahead and tricked it up with uh, all the appropriate running gear to operate a greenhouse. Um, this is a fantastic build and um, I'll take my hat off to someone challenging themselves to make this happen and uh, make it happen so well. Don also built himself a uh, Midasaur station using the Craig uh, track system. Uh, this is fantastic. Uh, go along and have a look at this build. It's, um, it's something I suppose we all aspire to make and also very handy, um, very handy item to cut wood. Uh, if you set up right, it's, it's, it's perfect. Another one of the projects was uh, putting a solar panel on their camper van and hooking that up to a battery pack, being practically, uh, you know, efficient, self-sustaining. Uh, um, Don then went on to build some uh, cabinetry for inside the van. If you look at this, this is beautiful. Um, he's done a great job here and um, it's all very much custom made to, to fit for the, uh, the van size. Also put in a, a bunk bed, not a bunk bed, a bed in the back, um, that's fantastic. And they also have uh, mini pets, you can see goats and they have their dogs and uh, that's wonderful. This is just a brilliant YouTube channel, uh, offers everything to everyone and um, good on you Don and Caroline, keep up the great work. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, it's a channel I've subscribed to. I just, I just love watching it every time they put a video out. Uh, it's a big thumbs up there. All right, the next uh, maker on YouTube of interest uh, that I have probably followed for quite a little while now is um, Casual DIY, and this is uh, Thomas's channel. He's over. He's an English-based uh, YouTube creator, and. Um, some of the stuff he does is fantastic. So let's let's have a little bit of a look at uh, Casual DIY's uh, wonderful builds and some of the reviews he does as well. Thomas runs his uh, Casual DIY channel uh, on YouTube from a one car garage in the UK. Um, he does some excellent stuff inside there. He does uh, tool reviews, um, which are very handy because he doesn't just show top end stuff, but also you know, the practical things uh, we, we tend to look for if we're on a budget and, um, you know, these are things we can all sometimes uh, save up and purchase. One of the things I like is uh, he gets such wonderful uh, coloration in his projects and um, it's, it's, I don't know how he does it, maybe it's just the timber he uses or the camera light, but um, Thomas has, uh, builds a, a very friendly and, um, you know, there, there's something that anyone can make um, and I tell you, if you make things as such as uh, Casual DIY's channel makes, uh, they're going to be great gifts for people, especially around Christmas time. Here we see uh, some outdoor furniture arrangements. This looks wonderful. 
Uh, he's, I think he's got a knack of getting a great finish on things here. Um, another outdoor stool, bench seat. Uh, that's beautiful. And here we look at some of the uh, interior indoor builds. Um, uh, a serving platter. And look at the finish. Um, good stuff, Tom. I think, uh, I think Thomas has his own concoction of uh, something. And if I play me cars right, he might send me some. Never know. So that's fantastic. Go over to Casual DIY, subscribe, give him the thumbs up and uh, just say good day. So just, just a quick last one. Um, I'll just come across a really good podcast. Um, it's called Fools With Tools. And uh, I sort of got thinking, I thought, yeah, I, I can act in that vein a little bit sometimes. So um, I'll just put a couple of quick photos and uh, just, just check that one out. And um, it's fantastic. It's, it's a British one. So you're always guaranteed a bit of a chuckle and a laugh. Fools with Tools podcast. It's um it's relatively new, uh, starring Alex and Steve, and the approach taken here is somewhat uh, more. I don't know. I suppose there's a little bit of comic relief in it, and but it's a uh, it's something just where the guys chat about projects, tools they use, um, and also giving a few makers in the community a bit of a. Uh, helping hand as well by you know a few interviews and uh, mentioning names it's altogether good fun good fun value and um, I, I thoroughly recommend it and uh, I'm, I'm really getting into it myself all right there you go uh, now it's time. That's the best drum roll I could do, but it'll suffice. Uh, for the Sumo's Projects uh, 500 subscriber uh, giveaway, and um, there's a couple of prizes. So uh, let's go ahead and do it, and uh, let's see who's. Well, you won't receive this before Christmas, but you'll get it after Christmas. You can put it under your tree for next year. Anyway, let's do the draw. So I've changed my shirt, get into the spirit of things. Um, so it is Christmas coming up, and we all uh, we all get into the mood. All right, let's have a go. Let's see the lucky dip. We'll go for runner up. Um, this will be for a few signs and stickers, and we've got Eric Three Eric Free Thinker, and uh, we'll just confirm that and go back into the comments and um, see what comment. All right. All right, grand prize, come on. Could be you. Let's see, the lucky dip. Let's see who we got here. All right, this uh, Mark Beauchamp. Mark Beauchamp, I think I pronounced it correctly. I hope so, mate. Um, you're the winner of the uh, prize of a hundred dollar MasterCard and uh, congratulations mate and um, I'll just we'll just have a look and confirm what your choice of tool or product uh, project was and um, I'll get the uh, prizes into the mail ASAP so so congratulations uh, I'll leave a few points of uh, contact in the descriptions below either Instagram or email, or if you wish to leave me your email address and I'll contact you that way and um, uh, we'll organise to get things out to you. All right, lovely. Have a wonderful Christmas, celebrate with your family, be a joyous occasion and um, I'll see you soon. So thank you very much again, guys. Have a great one.